Well, starting next week, some special Toronto cops will be in four select neighbourhoods. This is all part of a six-month enhanced neighbourhood officer pilot project. The goal here is to build better relationships with the community. Let's get to one of those communities, live to Tammy Sutherland in 11 Division. A look at exactly what's going to be happening. Good morning, Tammy. Good morning, Melanie. We're here in the Dundas and Scarlet Road area. This is just one of several neighborhoods where this six month pilot project will be taking place starting Monday. And what it looks to do, as you had mentioned, is build relationships with the community and have a more visible and consistent police presence. But this pilot project now will be testing some of, in, some of the enhancements that Toronto police say will make this program successful. They have had neighborhood policing since 2013, but they want to step it up. And some of those enhancements will include changes in what the police officers are wearing, what is printed on their hats and their vests as well. And this will be in force in some of the uh, different neighborhoods across the city, as you mentioned here in 11 Division and in 22 Division in the city's West End, also out in 41 and 42 Division in the city's East End. So coming up just after 7 o'clock this morning right here on BT, we'll be speaking with Toronto Police Deputy Chief Peter Ewan about the program. Program itself will give you a sneak peek of what's to come, but we'll also be talking to residents to get their reaction to having more officers in their communities. Mel, I'll send it back to you. All right, Tammy, thank you so much for that. To Mississauga now, a serious crash claiming the life of one person last night. Two vehicles were involved in this crash. It sent debris across the roadway. You can see flipping this car right onto its side. Happened around 11 o'clock last night near Burnham Thorpe and Winston Churchill. Two people rushed to hospital, one of them succumbing to their injuries, the other now listed in stable condition. Roadways were closed off in the area overnight. They have since reopened. Police continue to investigate. Premier Doug Ford in Alberta, in Alberta next Friday, rather, to help fellow Conservative Jason Kenney rally for scrapping the carbon tax. Alberta opposition leader Jason Kenney vowing to rid the province of the carbon tax if he is elected in the spring vote. Ford, of course, got rid of the cap and trade rule not long after being elected here in Ontario. Ford claims that's part of the reason that gas prices have dropped recently. Ford tweeting about being invited to the Alberta rally, saying, proud to say that Ontario will stand with Albertans who oppose this unfair and burdensome tax on families and businesses. Well, with the potential of a strike as early as next week, the union representing about 50,000 Canada Post employees set to head back to the bargaining table this weekend. Both sides, they've been negotiating for roughly nine months now. The union says they are waiting for a response on a contract proposal submitted to Canada Post two weeks ago. So the major negotiating points here, wages and working conditions, if a deal is not reached, rotating walkouts could happen as soon as next week.